It's a little bit thick, just like me. You are going to need either leftover turkey or rotisserie chicken. If you're vegan, you could use dehydrated, rehydrated oyster mushrooms, but you're gonna need between three and four cups, uh, one to two pounds. You're going to need a can of cranberry sauce or about as much as is left over. You can use more or less depending on your flavor. And you're gonna to want to use one to two cups of hoisin sauce. Now, if you are normal and don't need gluten-free or allergy-friendly, just buy some off the shelf. But I do have a recipe for you for that. So even if you've got, like me, all the allergies and normally can't do hoisin sauce, I have got a five-minute recipe for you that will work. And of course, you're going to need some kind of a bread base. I am using our five-minute milk dough bread, which I'm allergic to milk, so you know, you do you. Um, if you don't have extra uh, bread dough laying around, you could use Pillsbury's Grand's biscuits, or you could just use my recipe, it takes five minutes. And then of course, any condiments you're gonna want at the end. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make our barbecue sauce. You're gonna take your can of cranberry sauce and stick it in your blender. And you're gonna take about one to two cups of your hoisin sauce, and you're gonna pour that in the blender too. As you can see, mine is really thick, wonderful. So maybe you'll have to use a spatula. It's a little bit thick, just like me. Yes, I know this is a ridiculously easy recipe, but I mean, it's Thanksgiving. We don't wanna do more cooking, do we? Honestly, on a work night like tonight, I won't want to do cooking either. And we're just going to blend it till it's smooth. Now at this point, all you're going to do is you're going to mix your, I mean, honestly, that's the easiest sauce in the world, right? Even if you made it homemade five minutes ago with me, it still only took you about seven minutes, right? So you're going to take your sauce, and you are going to mix it into your leftover turkey or chicken or oyster mushrooms. If you're planning on putting these in steamed buns, you're gonna to wanna to chop that protein extra, extra fine. But I am not. I'm gonna put it on sandwiches most of the time. So I usually just chop it, you know, how I want it. And as you can see, that is ready to roll. Now, if you wanna be as simple as you possibly can, okay? I mean, zero effort. You can just pile this on a piece of toast, right? Top it with a little bit of cilantro and call it a day, okay? But I have ideas. Okay, do you remember that uh, bread dough we talked about? Okay, idea one. This all involves either a really good um, pot with a strainer or a steamer or a heavy uh, cast iron pan, heavy saute pan, okay? You are going to take that bread dough and you are going to roll it out about an eighth of an inch thick. And this is where I probably should have chopped up some more, some more uh, of the chicken finer. You're going to take about a tablespoon of the chicken filling and you're going to place it in the center of the circle. Okay. And so you can be as full or as little as you want. I probably would do more because I'd make these like, nah, I'm not gonna spend hours making these, right? So you can just crease it. By the way, um, not my culture of origin and I stink at this, but they're delicious. And kind of form it into 
a little dumpling, okay? And you're just gonna keep making those. Probably out of this, you could get 12 or 13. You're gonna take a piece of parchment paper and you're gonna lay it in the bottom of your steamer or of your colander. And you're just gonna place these little buns in it. And you are going to steam them for six to eight minutes, okay? With the lid on. Okay. Idea number two. You can take the same dough. Okay, again, another two to three ounce portion. Okay, you need a chopstick for this. You're gonna roll your dough out to about an eighth of, eighth of an inch to a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. You're gonna oil the top side only of it. Oil a chopstick. And you are going to fold the dough over, pressing down, pull out the chopstick, and you can steam that for six to 12 minutes. Those two options are going to give you your traditional steamed bun and your traditional steamed bow bread that you can separate out and just fill, okay? And then if you really wanna gild the lily or you don't have a steamer, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing on a heavy bottom pot. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take, again, if you have um, extra biscuit dough, you could totally do this. About two ounce portion. Flatten it out. Rub a little oil. If you had leftover melted butter, go for it. Press it over, and then what you could actually do, put a little bit of oil on the bottom of a heavy bottom pan, okay? When the pan is hot, you're going to add the dough. You're gonna to wanna to do several of these at a time, right to the pan, and then you are going to take just a smidgen of water Pour it into the pan and cover it with a heavy lid. And cook that for six to eight minutes. Probably, probably looking at three to four minutes aside and you're gonna to wanna to flip them. And what that's gonna do is that is going to, hold on. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give you the toasty buns, okay, which is my favorite. And then, Sorry, I have texture issues. I just, it's a good thing you love me, huh? Okay. Once you have gotten your bun the way you want it, you just peel it open. You put in a little portion of your delicious poison cranberry chicken or mushrooms. And you can top it with whatever toppings you like. Personally, I like a little bit of finely shredded red cabbage, a slice or two of cucumber, and just a smidge of chopped green onion, and maybe a sprinkle of crushed red pepper. And voila. I know it sounds a little complicated, but it's like a no-brainer. Use up what you've got kind of a meal, and it does taste completely different than normal Thanksgiving. Well, it really was that easy. I don't know what to tell you, except for thanks for bearing with me on this busy holiday weekend. If you like the recipe idea and you wanna get more, don't forget to click the link in the description below. And I do what I do for the love of you, but I don't get paid and I do get my energy from coffee have kind of a huge coffee 
addiction. So if you'd like to enable my addiction and keep me energized, you can buy me a cup of coffee. Click the link in the description below. And don't forget, I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.